Heather, thanks for asking this question and letting me um, out you as the one asking this, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, so what are your thoughts on developing a new subscriber email sequence? I'm setting my autoresponder and not sure if I should set one up or not. And if I set one up, I am not sure what to put in each email other than maybe info about each of my packages, maybe client stories to provide a different lens. I don't recall ever seeing one. So that might, uh, from George, so that might be a hint. <laughs> Appreciating the sharing and support. Yeah, no, thank you so much for asking this. And I really do welcome everyone who is watching to comment below. What is your opinion about a new subscriber getting a sequence of emails? Um, well, because all of us have subscribed to email. Uh, you know, you've, you've been on the website, you've put in your email address, and then what happens afterwards? Do you get... Um, basically a programmed sequence, or do you just get whatever their upcoming newsletter is? We all, we've all had both of these experiences and I'm not the only one who, I, I don't think there's a right answer. So that's, that's my, that's my answer is I don't think there's a right answer. And I think of course it matters so much on how that subscriber sequence is done. So please comment below. What is your experience from a, from a subscriber point of view, from a reader point of view? Had, do you remember any email welcome sequence that was particularly well done? And please share with us who that was from and maybe the website if you like. Or And also, do you remember an email subscriber sequence that was not well done that made you want to unsubscribe or stop reading? All right. So I will, um, I'll, I'll share what I do and then I'll share sort of my experience as a, as a reader. So You'll notice, yes, very good, very good observation that I don't have a welcome sequence for um, for my emails. You might say that, okay, I have a welcome email. When you join my list, um, if you don't know, then you can look look at the links below this video. To, I have two email lists. The one is my best content email list, and then my announcements email. Those announcements are like basically when I launch a course or have coaching openings. That second email list gets gets those remind uh, gets those um, announcements. So each of them has a different welcome email. The welcome email for the for well, you, you should join and, and find out <laughs> what what the welcome email says. But the, for those of you who have already joined, the content welcome email basically says, "Hey, thank you so much. Um, here's just the links to some of my best posts. Um, if you're wanting to get started, um, otherwise, you know, I'll see you in the next email. I think something like that." And I also say, by the way, I also have a second email list in case you're interested. If you want to learn about my upcoming courses and coaching openings, join join it here kind of thing. And then my other email list, my announcements email list, the welcome email basically says, hey, thank you so much for, for, for subscribing. I have two quick questions for you. One is, how did you hear about me? Because, and, you know, I used to have these questions for my content email list as well, but at this point, I have enough people subscribing that I don't really necessarily want to get an email from everybody. But but when you're first starting, it's probably a good idea to get in to try to get conversation going with as many of your email subscribers as possible when your list is still fairly small or whatever that means for you. You want to get more interaction. Right now, my list, my content list is now five thousand, so it's like I don't want to get a reply from everybody. So, um, but my launch list is half that size. You know, half of those five thousand want to actually get specific emails about my products and services. So I still have that email say, hey, how did you hear of me? Number one. And number two, um, is there one question that you'd love for me to answer? I will do my best to reply to try to help. So like, in other words, my launch list, my announcement list, people get that extra benefit. Whereas my content list, I don't want to have to reply to free help for everybody there. I used to, but now. So, uh, so that's the only email that they get there's no other all right so here's another email about a client's success story or here's a, the first course you might want to take that might not be a bad idea because I, I know a lot of my people say george it's you, you teach so many courses which one should i start with first so it's probably not a bad idea for me to add one more email saying exactly what i just said right here's my rec recommended first course to take if you haven't yet taken that one um but you know what Here's the thing. My email open rates are double my industry average. So let me say that again. In my industry, my fellow peers, when they send their regular newsletter, 
okay, monthly newsletter, weekly new newsletter or whatever, they get on average 20 to 25% open rate, meaning they send an email out to a thousand people and they can expect 200 to 250 people to open it after measuring for at least a week. Okay, so that's that's uh, the my industry average. My open rates for both my weekly emails and my monthly emails and my sales emails when I'm promoting stuff, my open rates for all three are about 50%. And it's been like that for at least a year, at least 12 months now, it's been 50%. And my click rate, the, the, the rate of people clicking on the links in my email is also, it's actually about triple my industry average. So whatever I'm doing is working by the numbers, it's working really, really well compared to everybody else who has open, uh, who has welcome sequences. And so I don't know. I think that, and you might say, well, George, you know, the, you know, if, you, if I wanted to really get more sophisticated, I would probably have a very thoughtful email sequence, which is really the start of an email funnel, right? A email sequence, and then prevent those new subscribers from getting my next newsletter because they might get confused on what that is. I think that's overthinking it to be honest, because guess what? I've been doing it my way for years. And just from the measurement of the last 12 months, my open rates is way higher than, than and, and my open rates have actually gone up over the years. Interestingly, I'm grateful. Um, so that's, that's all I know is it's working and it's very simple to follow because there's no email sequence. They just, when you subscribe, if I happen to be sending the, the monthly newsletter the next day, well, you could you, you subscribe yesterday and today you happen to get the monthly newsletter, whatever, it's okay. Or tomorrow you happen to get the weekly newsletter, whatever, it's okay. Everyone, and my unsubscription rate, that's also important to mention. Because every time you send out an email, naturally you get a few people unsubscribing. Did you know that? That's normal. You should not cry over them, okay? I have 50 people on my email list. You know, uh, one person's unsubscribed. Shame on them. No, 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 it's... It's normal. You should just assume it. Whatever reason people always unsubscribe, don't cry over them. They may be back. That's the truth of the matter. So uh, my unsubscri unsubscription rate is also lower than the, well, at least it's, it's, it doesn't go over the threshold of what is dangerous. It's um, less than half a percent. And about half a percent is about average, uh, half of 1% unsubscription rate. So, all right, from a, from a reader point of view, because I've subscribed to many, many email newsletters. I notice that when I get an email sequence, I get tired pretty quickly. Like I, I'll read like the first email or two from the email sequence. And then they send their third and fourth and fifth. And I just start tuning out. And not only do I, so therefore this, this, this writer has trained me to tune out their emails. So I don't even read their weekly or monthly newsletter anymore because I've already tuned out by the time it got to like the third or fourth email in a sequence. I'm not saying that there's some magic number. Oh, email sequences should only be two emails. I'm not saying that. I'm just talking about my own experience. So I think the golden rule is always good to follow for authentic marketing. Follow the golden rule. What do you enjoy? Do the same unto others. What don't you enjoy? What turns you off? What, tur what tunes you out? Don't do that to others because your own conscience will know. So I think that's the bottom line is I'm not saying it's right or wrong the way I do it. I know it's working for me, for my numbers. Do what's right that you enjoy as the experience of an email reader. So I hope this helps.